Melinda Coleman, the mother of Daisy Coleman, died on December 6, 2020. She was 58. Melinda took her own life at home in Missouri four months later, Daisy's death. Safe BAE confirmed the news of Melinda's death. Safe BAE wrote on Instagram that she died by apparent suicide. Melinda was a gifted veterinarian, devoted mother and wife, and a talented woman. She loved and believed in her children. Coleman's close friend, Tammy Pyburn, disclosed that she died from a self-inflicted gunshot just like her daughter, Daisy. Daisy Coleman died by suicide on August 4. She was 23. Daisy was featured in a 2016 Netflix documentary Ottery and Daisy, highlighting life's challenges after sexual assault. Back in January 2012, Daisy was 14 when a 17-year-old Matthew Barnett raped her. Initially, Barnett and Zek were charged with sexual assault, but the case dropped, citing insufficient evidence. Barnett was the grandson of former state representative, Republican Rex Barnett. Daisy was relentlessly bullied after going public about her alleged rape. According to Melinda, her daughter, Daisy, never recovered what those boys did to her. Just a few hours before Melinda's death, she took to Facebook and posted a series of Daisy photos. She wrote, There aren't enough. I love yous, I could have said when I was holding your cold, broken, dead body. She has held Daisy like a baby at the time of death. She continued writing when Daisy come into this world, she and her late husband were proud to be parents. Her death news comes two weeks after a cryptic post that read, Albany wins. I'm dead. The family's tragedy didn't stop here. Melinda lost her husband in 2009, and one of her sons, Tristan Ash Coleman, died in a car accident in 2019, at age 19. Melinda struggled to cope after the loss of her husband and two children. She left her two sons, Logan and Charlie, behind. 